दिन शेनाक हमारा भी दिलो अवतार मूर्ति सैया की आवानी जानो जो आवानी चाटो जो आनंद संग्रामो पंगे लालो आमर गांधीलो आदि देवुनी चूड़ा सिंपा बनसु पायना माई तीनी अंदालतारा रुदिन शेना अंबर भी दिलो अवतार मूर्ति ये सैया की आवानी चाटो जो प्रभु जन्मास कलमु पाका ये गानी परलोका सऊदा में बालूनी चूड़ा जीविता मंता पावन मायलो प्रभु पादा पूजा दीवना गाता प्रसरिंचे पुण्यमु ब्रह्म के मंदिर माये अपनले सिरुलाये पलिंचे प्रार्दना अंदालतारा रुदिंचे ना Let us all stand in honor and respect and welcome our Honorable Governor, the first citizen of Andhra Pradesh, His Excellency Sri S. Abdul Nazir Garu and Madam Samira Garu, the first lady of Andhra Pradesh, into our yes, We are immensely happy with the adorable presence of our Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh. All good promises and beginnings are heralded with the grace of God. We ask, we receive. We seek, we find. We knock, the gates of the heaven opens and send down the showers of blessings. Now the scripture reading followed by the prayer by Reverend Sam Sampath Garu, Bishop ALC. Excellency, Governor Garu, Varkutumamu, Chairwachina 20 Bishops, Pastors, Naikulu, Chairmans, Airport Chasin at 20 Bedalandri Kigura, Nikropadai Chaser, Vandanal Deva, Ikari Kramani, Mire Nadipinchi, Adinundi Anantam Varku, Mire Divinch Penaduchinan, Kalu Jason at 20, Shuba Vartamana, Nime Maji Vitalaki, Anavadam Cheskuntu, Majitalu, then at the Pondukota in the Krupadai Chemani. Yes, at the Pershudraman at Vedic Kundan Swami. You have a lot of things on Kunda Kodari Vandana Pershudan Kuluka Rasin Suarta Rara Jano, Mother to Watchinum Niti, but not a Watchinum Chadukunda. Saint Luke, Chapter Second, One to Fourteen Verse. And it came to pass in those days that there went a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. 
and this taxation was first laid when Cyrus was governor of Syria and all went to be taxed every one into his own city and Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David which is called Bethlehem because it was the house of lineage of David to be taxed, taxed with Mary a disposed wife being great with child and so it was that while they were there the days were accomplished that she should be delivered and she brought forth her firstborn and wrapped him in a swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn and they were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over the flock by night and lo the angel of the lord came upon them and the glory of the lord shone around about them and they were sore afraid and the angel said unto them fear not for behold i bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people for unto you is born this day in the city of david a savior which is christ the lord and this shall be a sign unto you we shall find the baby wrapped in a swine clothes lying in a manger and suddenly there was with the angel of multitude of heavenly host praising god and saying god to god the highest act on earth peace god will toward man thank you thank you pastor garu christmas is a celebration all over the world god has created man in his own image but man disobeyed god and entered into sin so god sent his only son jesus christ into the world to save the mankind and give him eternity let us now listen to the christmas message by bishop ebnezer garu metropolitan mission vijayawada his excellency honorable governor of our beloved state of andhra pradesh and all the distinguished guests consecrated bishops presbyters pastors elite group to be honored by his excellency to invite us to celebrate the king of kings and the lord of lords the same with his fellowship and his family members and also i take it as a privilege an opportunity to share a few thoughts about this uh, wonderful event uh, that has taken place uh, and uh, while uh, the chair person was telling about uh, christmas means uh, history that is jesus we call it in our domain because we are in the year of the lord and she said about uh, mystery because god coming to this world in flesh and blood which is a, a magnanimous thing even to think and uh, a renowned evangelist dr billy graham once was getting ready to give a christmas message in a very big auditorium and uh, as he was going he stepped into a heap of ants and uh, he was very puzzled and he was surprised how he can communicate his agony and suffering to them so he thought to himself He knelt before the ants and he thought to himself, Oh, ants, I'm very, very sad that without my knowledge I stepped into you and uh, you are able to, you are all happy. If only I became an ant like you, if only I know your language, I would ask forgiveness of you and... Uh, share my suffering with you that is what uh, 
he thought to himself, I will move on to a wonderful Christmas message. That is what all about as we have been thinking and seeing. St. Paul is a prolific writer in the New Testament and he has written uh, most parts of the letters in the New Testament. In Colossians, he said, uh, chapter 1 and verse 15, he said, Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He has also said in another version that he is uh, the preeminent. And also he went on to say, he existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. And such God could see mankind fell and they were in depravity, a total depravity. He thought to himself that no substitution was possible to retrieve them from the total depravity of sin. That is the reason, you know, he is the one who made everything. That is what Paul said in Colossians chapter 1, 16. For through him, God created everything in the heavenly realms on the earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. But it is a, a wonderful celebration because such a God of majesty, such a sovereign God, such a wonderful God who created everything with all his authority, could come down to this earth in the form of a man in flesh and blood. And that is a wonderful mystery of uh, Christmas. That is what Paul also said in Philippians chapter 2, verse 7, he said, uh, again he said, he took the form of a servant. Uh, servant is a little bit respected word these days. He took the form of a slave. He did not uh, count himself equally to stay with God, but uh, came down in the form of a slave. The highest God in the universe could come down to the meekest form to the point of a human being. That is the wonderful wonderful message of Christmas. I am through with one more illustration, that is, it did not only come down and to dictate some orders, all the people will be saved, this and that, no. He became the substitutory atonement of all the universe. He was the perfect substitution because he was sinless and could match the standards of holy God. And that is the reason, you know, God could say, again in Romans we see, a great sacrifice to Christ in Christ. In closing, I would like, I'd like to say one more thing that, uh, you know, if man wanted to reach God to appease his anger or anything, he would do many things. He would do even sacrifices, many things to reach God. But, you know, what God did was, he made sacrifice. That is what uh, we could see in Romans uh, chapter 3 and uh, 23 onwards. I can read from this, ver from this version. For God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for sin. 
people are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. His sacrifice shows that God was a head of our peace. So tonight, in this wonderful occasion, I would like to say that God became a man like you and like me and lived 33 and a half years and died and rose again and then is there in his throne interceding for all of us and for all the dignitaries, governors, presidents and all universe and their families. I am through with this illustration from Swami Viveka Nanda, which is very famous from the first psalm, it may be new. He said, when he said, had I lived in Palestine in the days of Jesus of Nazareth, I would have washed his feet not with my tears, but with my heart's blood. That is what uh, Swami Vivekananda could uh, say and experience uh, these words. So, on behalf of all the sublime uh, dignitaries, I once again uh, congratulate uh, His uh, Excellence, Honorable Bishop Garu and his uh, family members joy and peace and happiness and blessing <coughs> to all of you. Christian communities behind you in prayer, especially every day in many churches. And may God bless you abundantly and make you a channel of blessing to our state of Andhra Pradesh, irrespective of any changes in the future. That is our prayer. Many, many unhappy Christmas blessings to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for that meaningful and beautiful Christmas yeah. message. <clears throat> it's my honor and privilege to welcome our chief guest for this Christmas celebration, His Excellency, the Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh, Sri S. Abdul Najir Garu. Sir was a meritorious student from the beginning. Sir worked as a judge in state of Karnataka. Sir also worked as a judge of Supreme Court of India. During his term, he gave many significant judgments. He is known for his discipline and simplicity. During his college days, Sir actively participated in theater. He also joined his college in co-curricular activities, especially singing, and is a big fan of watching cricket. May I now take this opportunity to welcome the Honorable Governor Sri Abdul Najir Garu to give his message. Respected dignitaries and my friends, I extend my warm greetings to you on the eve of Christmas festival and invite you all to the Christmas celebrations. Christmas marks the birth of Jesus Christ and is celebrated all over the world with tremendous joy and devotion. The birth of Jesus Christ is an event of utmost importance to the followers of Christianity and it is believed that God sent his son on earth as a sacrifice to redeem the people of the world from their sins. The birth of Jesus Christ symbolizes the significance of life. He came to give us love, hope and joy and it is believed that through his crucifixion and subsequent resurrection, God offered humans salvation and eternal life. As you all know, India overtook China to become the world's most populous country. 
even though Christians make up 2.5% of India's massive population, we rank amongst the 25 countries with the most Christians, surpassing Christian countries such as Uganda and Greece. Christianity in India has a long and rich history that dates back to almost 2000 years. Origins influence and contributions to Indian society are profound. Missionaries founded some of the earliest modern educational institutions in India, including schools, colleges, and universities offering Western style education. Actually, I also studied in a Christian institution, my wife, my children, all of them. <laughs> and even the grandson <laughs> in Bangalore right now. Christian missionaries played a crucial role in promoting women's education in India since early times and established numerous schools for girls advocating for gender equality. Ours is a diverse nation and people here belong to different races, communities and regions and speak different <coughs> languages. We believe in and practice different religions but our national identity is supreme and we are all concerned by a strong emotional integration and national unity celebrating the spirit of Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat. Christmas is a time of joyous remembrance of Jesus Christ to cherish his teachings of bonds of love, tolerance and compassion among all people. The life of Jesus Christ is a source of inspiration to all of us to lead a life of virtue and faith. I wish you all a very happy and Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for that wonderful message, beautifully depicting the life of Jesus Christ and recollecting your nostalgic days as a student of a Christian school. Thank you, sir. Cutting of the cake symbolizes spreading of joy, sweetness, and happiness to all. Let us make this celebration more remarkable by cutting the cake. Okay. Uh. We come to you this Christmas with thankful hearts. We praise you for the gift of Jesus, our Savior. We are deeply grateful that Jesus can change our stories of hardship into testimonies of hope. We rejoice in all the great things you have done for us. Guide us, O oh God, so we can bear the witness to your love, grace, and justice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us throughout this Christmas season and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We extend our gratitude to the Honorable Governor, Sri S. Abdul Najir Garu, for giving us this beautiful celebration this evening. We also thank the Raj Bhavan, the organizing committee for organizing such a grace, gracious occasion and a beautiful celebration. Thank you, one and all.